ceasefire in Syria brokered by the US and Russia last Monday is now over and it's unclear if it might be prolonged. We can get more details now from RT's Lizzie Phelan who joins us. Um, Lizzie, it was a shaky ceasefire, wasn't it? We know largely speaking uh, the violence um, had lessened considerably but there were accusations always on both sides too that uh, the ceasefire had been violated. Hi, Andrew. That's right. Well, that seven-day ceasefire brokered by the Americans and the Russians is now officially over. And it, it appears that all sides uh, are not ready for the next stages that they had planned. Now, initially, it was expected that the Russians and the Americans would start cooperating uh, and coordinating their air campaigns against both ISIL and the formerly named al-Nusra Front, now named Fatah al-Sham, after seven days. But so far, both sides aren't exactly happy uh, with how the truce went, and, and both are blaming each other for not meeting the terms for further cooperation. Now, the Russian Defense Ministry says that the truce was only observed by the Syrian government and it gave rebels the opportunity to regroup. They also blame the Americans uh, for not influencing the so-called moderate opposition further and say that they failed to convince the uh, moderate rebels to separate from groups like al-Nusra. In fact, they say that they've merged even further. Uh, at the same time, the opposition are blaming the government for violating the ceasefire. However, despite uh, stopping short from fulfilling its goals, uh, the ceasefire did bring some relief. In fact, John Kerry was optimistic today when he met with his Vatican counterpart. He said that the basic ceasefire was holding. Let's take a quick listen. Pretty well last night. Thank you all. Uh, trucks are moving today to maybe eight locations or more. So, you know, we'll see where we are today. Now, arguably, the biggest blow to that ceasefire was dealt by U.S. led coalition strikes on the Syrian army just a couple of days ago, which killed scores of Syrian army soldiers in Deir Ezzor. Now, just to remind you, Syrian army soldiers have been besieged by ISIS there for years now, and those strikes led uh, the Syrian army to lose uh, some strategic positions against ISIS uh, in the area. Now, we also learned that it wasn't just the Americans who were involved in those strikes. The Australians have also said they were involved, and today the UK also uh, confirmed their involvement. A UK defense ministry uh, spokesman, p p spokesperson said, uh, quote, we can confirm that the UK participated in the recent coalition airstrike in in Syria, south of Deir Ezzor on Saturday, and we're fully cooperating with the coalition uh, investigation. The UK would not intentionally target Syrian military units, but it would not be appropriate to comment further at this stage, end quote. Now, despite high hopes for this truce, those US-led strikes uh, on the Syrian army have dealt a huge blow to uh, any hopes uh, for potential confidence-building measures between the Americans and the Russians and thrown the status of the cooperation between those two countries uh, in Syria into total disarray. <laughs> القنابل الفراغية لا تنظر لا تلقى الطيران الحربي على أحياء مدينة البيت السكنية تلبيت 21 تسعة 2016 حسب الله ونعم الوكيل حسب الله ونعم الوكيل الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر مدينة تلبيسي تلبيسي 21 تسعة 2016 الله أكبر مدينة تلبيسي يا الله يا الله يا لطيف يا الله سلم يا رب لا 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 تجر لا لا تجر Hi, I'm Gary Johnson, I want to be your next president. I felt like I was in a game show when they asked me about Aleppo. I was going to say dog food. 
And now I know what is Aleppo. Well 30 intelligence officers including Israelis were killed in Russia missile attack in Aleppo. It appears this is in retaliation for US-led forces using white phosphorus on Syrian special forces. So now I see why Aleppo is important. As we are so close to World War III, Russian warships in Syria's coastal waters targeted and destroyed a foreign military operations room in Dar as a region in the western part of Aleppo near Saman Mountain, killing over two dozen Israeli and Western intelligence officers. Several U.S., Turkish, Saudi, Qatari and British officers were also killed along with the Israeli officers. The Russian warships fired three caliber missiles at the Foreign Officers Coordination Operations Room in Dar as a region in the western part of Aleppo near Saman Mountain, killing 30 Israeli and Western officers, Sputnik quoted military source in Aleppo informed media sources disclosed earlier that the Syrian army has continued its advances in the southern part of Aleppo, and regained control over several strategic areas in the town of Khan Tuman. A number of key warehouses of Khan Tuman are now under the Syrian army's control, FNA reports. The source noted that the Syrian Air Force and Army's artillery units also targeted the gathering centers and fortifications of the terrorists in Khan Tuman. Russia, Shoigu announces sending aircraft carrier Admiral Kuznetsov to Syrian coast Russian Defense Minister Sergei Shoigu spoke from Moscow, on Wednesday to announce the deployment of flagship aircraft carrier Admiral Kuznetsov on active duty in eastern Mediterranean off Syria's coast. Shoigu said currently Russia's Navy group includes not less than six combat vessels and three or four service ships from all the fleets. In order to increase the combat group we are planning to include a Navy Air Force group, with the Admiral Kuznetsov cruiser. I am pointing out that the realization of the National Navy policy in operationally important regions of the world's oceans and providing regional and global stability will contribute to the renewal of the naval surface forces, 